Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy DR Styles 12 coming to you with a, a video review on the model kit. This model kit is uh, Metal Gear Rex. That's right, the 1 to 100 scale Metal Gear Rex. Um, I saw this kit uh, pre order uh, like about a few months ago and I pre ordered it. I got super excited. I mean, I'm a big, big Metal Gear fan. I mean, my collection is huge. I'll put a video on my Metal Gear collection. And I wanted to add this figure to my collection. I just got this in the mail a few days ago, and I decided to do a review on it, uh, on the box cover, on the art, and the contents inside. And uh, let me get a close up on the text. Uh, I know the I know the flash uh, gets in the way of the text, but it's pretty much saying I'm um, uh, giving you the brief story of Mel Gear about the terrorist demand, and he got 24 hours. And he sent um, a snake to go handle handle the situation. I'm pretty sure all you guys know the rest. Okay, that's the front of the box art. Uh, my picture of Metal Gear Rex. You got a picture of Liquid in the bottom. A few soldiers, genome soldiers, and of course, the legendary Solid Snake right here. By far my favorite character in the history of video games. <clears throat> Here's the uh, cover, uh, shot of the side. Excuse me, the flash is a little weird because the box is real shiny, so it's like metallic shiny, so um, uh, it's it gets in the way, and plus it's nighttime. I don't have the best of lighting in here. Okay, here's some more. This is a picture of um, uh, the side art. Different display. This is really cool. It comes with a uh, little liquid and solid snake and uh, gray fox slash cyborg ninja right before he fights Rex and when he's about to die some stuff in Japanese which I don't understand well I'm gonna be buying Rosetta Stone, uh, Rosetta Stone soon so hopefully I can learn at least speak it you know <laughs> okay see the other side same thing on the other side over here is um, uh, more information in Japanese, more poses of the Metal Gear box. Okay, so open it up. I'm going to put the, my camera phone down because this is... Oops, over there we go. Nope, nope that's not going to work. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's flip it over because I'm using my phone because I don't have a camera. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for the shake. I need to get a camera for these reviews. Now, I haven't done a review in a while. Normally, I do Gundam review, or as you guys can see, probably my workout reviews. But uh, I have a, I'm a, I have a lot of different hobbies. I mean, model kits is one of my favorite ones. Okay, you, just in case I mentioned before, this is a model kit. Um, you have the different plates over here. Um, I have built plenty of guns in the past. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but you know, I'm familiar with. The cutting and all that stuff, so I have the, uh, enough tools to do it. Okay, these are the little figures, as you can see. They come unpainted, so um, my suggestion is getting like fine paint brushes to paint them, or you can just leave it like that, whatever. I mean, I, I think I'm actually gonna try to paint them while I decide to uh, do this, just because having this guy on display is gonna be awesome. Okay, a whole bunch of plates, whole bunch. I'm not gonna bother counting because you guys can see. It's pretty cool. Comes with this golden plate. I, I bet that's for the side. And okay, some more plates here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here so I'm confusing. More plates. More plates. Oh, this is awesome. This is the top of Metal Gear's head. Rex's head. Well, at least I think it is. It'll be silly if it's not. Okay. Here's the cover. Cover is pretty much um uh, the. A book it has the same um, uh, cover as in the front, same art, and the company's name is um, Koto Bonkia. If I said that wrong, I'm really sorry. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Okay, let's open it up. You got some pictures of it of the final product. Here's some drawings of it. I mean, in my opinion, this is definitely one of the most iconic video game robots slash mechas ever. Anybody who's ever played a video game knows Rex. And he's just, in my opinion, once he's built, it's just a great display piece. I want, I want to have him so when somebody comes to my man cave 
and they see him. Uh, hey, wait a second. Is that Rex? That's what I want the reaction to be. Great, great figure. Look at that. Obviously, you have to paint them because unlike Gundams, this guy doesn't come painted. I mean, you don't have to. But if you want him to have the camouflage colors like that, you have to paint them. Okay, there's some more instructions. I was looking at the book earlier, and it looks a little bit more complicated than the um, Gundams. A little bit more, not by much. Obviously, if you built the Gundam, you could probably build this. But as you can see, the instructions are a little weird. Yeah. Eh, it's actually pretty much the same thing, but as far as what type of grade it is, I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not sure, because um, this company, I believe, doesn't use uh, grades, but I'll be honest with you, it's the first time I buy a kit from this company. And the main reason I bought a kit from this company is because it was Metal Gear. And I love Gundams, but I love Metal Gear so much more. Let me see. I'm actually... Uh, have pre-ordered the triple a metal gear um uh, rex so once i get that and i built this guy or i might just keep this and order another kit so i can have this one display and, and built and um, um and keep the other one in the box i might do that that's how much of a metal gear fan i am but when i do buy uh, get the other guy i'll um uh, the triple a one the, that one's one to 48 scale i will do a review and a comparison review Okay, as you guys can see, you know, it's pretty much just detailing. It's a lot of pages of detail, as you guys can see. I don't know, but I don't want to bore you guys with the detail. I'm pretty sure you guys can find this online, instruction booklets online. It takes a while. There's a lot of little parts. As you guys can see the, the famous rail gun. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, more stuff. And this is the famous dish that you have to destroy uh, the game. Man, spoiler alert. If this is a spoiler, then I have no idea what rock you've been in the last, what, uh, 15 years? Uh, but anywho, uh, let me see. Here's the final product. It comes with a, a display stand, which is awesome. You know, I like that. And then, obviously, if you decide to do the whole painting thing, boom, you can recreate the scene where I'm um, uh, uh, Gray Fox dies. Uh, it's, there we go. It shows you how to connect it to the, to the display stands. Uh, right here. It shows the articulation. You can sit down. Great stuff. I'm super excited about this. Here's the finished product. Once it's colored, here's the different colors you could use. I'm going to see if I could, um, um, Go online and, see, and get a translation for this because obviously it's common sense. But I want, I, I like, I love this figure so much that I want to know exactly the colors that I need to use to paint them to look the way he should look. Here's some more colors. Let's see, no stickers or anything like that, no decals. And this is how it should look once the finished product is look. It's look, it's um, it's finished. And it should look as you guys can see. This is the rear view. Obviously, it says rear view on it. This is the different parts. Um, uh, that's the gold piece that I looked at earlier. And these are the rest of the pieces. Top view, bottom view, and boom, you have one of the most iconic mechas in, in video game history. And then the back of the book is the shot of um, a snake. Great, great. Um, uh, Kit, I can't wait to build him. I was super excited when I got him. I waited all day for FedEx to deliver him. And I got him, so I'm super happy about getting this kit. I can't wait to build him. As soon as I build him, I obviously I'll put a full, a full um, review on, on articulations and the whole work. But it might take a while because I'm I want to build this guy slowly just so I can do everything right. I don't want to break any pieces or anything because this guy was not cheap. You know, he wasn't too too bad by himself, but the the shipping was ridiculous. <laughs> but like this, with the shipping and the uh, the price of the uh, of the kit, I probably could have got two or three, depending what type of master grade gun was. <laughs> so that tells you. All right, guys. So um, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, any comments, leave them below. Uh, PM me if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Uh, enjoy it. And uh, oh, and uh, happy New Year, guys. All right.
Take care. Bye.